So Sarah asks if she has 10 thermometers worth of temperature data in 10 minute increments, but they didn't all start at the same time, is there a way to match up all the different thermometers? Uh, so here, what we have is uh, just five, so that it fits on the screen well. Um, five different temperature readings, T1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And timestamps that are close, but not quite lined up all in 10 minute increments. I'm going to show you uh, a way with VLOOKUP. I'm going to also show you uh, a kind of cheat way um, just using delete. So let's make this smaller. Uh, I'm going to take these, copy, and paste right here. That was Control C and Control V. Um, and I'm going to remove the headers for T1, T3, T4, and T5 time. But I'm going to leave the one for T1. Um, and then let's make all of these just a little bit smaller to fit in. Um, you'll see why I left these blanks in a second. It's kind of a, uh, a way to cheat because I'm incredibly lazy and I like to copy and paste without typing. Um, so these timestamps, I'm going to control C and control V, these timestamps. Um, make this a little bit bigger so you can see them. And then for T1, what we're going to say is equal V lookup. And we want to look up this value, uh, that timestamp right there. And I don't want the letter to change because I'm going to copy and paste this formula going to the right. And I don't want the letter to progress. So I'm going to put a dollar sign on it so that the M stays in M. But I'm not going to put a dollar sign on the 2 because I do want the 2 to go down as I drag down. And what VLOOKUP is telling me, it's saying, um, look up this value in some table. So to put that table in there, I just need to put oops, M2, put a comma. Now it says table array. What I want the table array to be is this table. Um, so I'm looking for this value, M2, in this table, comma. The column index number is I want the second column to be returned from this, from this table. There's only column one and column two, so it's pretty easy, but column two right there. And then the last one is it says true or false for this last statement. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, just click or type false. That means I want it to be exact. That's what false means, and it'll tell you that. Um, and I'm gonna end the parenthesis there, but before I go, I want uh, the two from that table to always stay at two, and the 22 to stay at 22 so that when I drag down, those numbers don't change. Enter. So uh, I'm gonna double click this box right here in the lower right so that it auto drags to contig contiguous cells. And we'll see that sure enough, this table matches that table just like we had wanted. So now what I'm gonna do is take this, uh, these results right here, Control C, I'm gonna Control V here, Control V here, Control V here, and Control V there. And now what that should do is line these all up. And you're like, well, why are these NAs here? Well, if we go back to T2, we'll see that it started at 430. So there is no value for 420, 410, and 4. Uh, same for T3 and T5. Um, coming down, it looks like we could have come down a little bit further since some of these go to 740, but I'll just leave it, leave it there for now. Um, now. What you could do if you want to graph this is only start right here, or you could graph it with the NAs. And that should do the trick. Uh, if you wanted to try um, kind of a way without formulas, it's just delete the data that you don't want in order to make all the times line up. So we can see that 430 is the latest start time. So we could just select and delete this stuff, delete shift cells up okay so that our 430s line up and then this one we only have to get rid of 420 i'm going to use control y which just redoes our last thing um and then 4 to 420 control y again and 410 to 420 control y again we can see all our 430s line up and so we can now get rid of each of these timestamps, just like that